Welcome to Books, Boards, and Bourbon, a YouTube channel dedicated to the review of books from different genres, various board games that include solo play, cooperative play, and competitive play, and bourbons from all around the world. This week's episode, we're going to be talking about January's reads. Uh, it's the second week of January, so we're just getting started into the reading season for 2021, and I have some really cool goals that I want to talk about today, but I also want to talk about the three books that are sitting on my shelf currently and where I am in those. We're going to start with what I'm currently reading, and then we'll talk about what I've finished this month already. First up, what I'm currently reading is called The Miracle Morning uh, by Hal Elrod. And this has actually been really good to start off the new year. Many of us set those goals in January of how we want to change our lives or make ourselves better. And Hal has some really great ideas in this Miracle Morning about how you can take life and really change your outcome and your future just in those first hour of the day. Now, he does advise that you should wake up early, which none of us want to do. But as I've read through the first half of this book, I found it really encouraging that maybe, yeah, I should be getting up earlier and doing more with my mornings before the rest of the household is up. So I'm really excited to read through the rest of this. It's been a very easy read, uh, but to make it digestible because it's more of a learning tool and a self-development tool, I've just been reading one chapter a morning, first thing when I wake up to start my day, taking some notes in there. As you can see, I um, do a lot of uh, highlighting and tabbing so that I can come back to this later and maybe set up some plans for myself for 2021. So I will do a full review on The Miracle Morning uh, by Hal Elrod in my December, my February video, uh, but I just wanted to give you an update that I am reading this. I'm about 33% uh, about, uh, done with it, and it's been really good so far. So if you've not picked this up yet, I recommend it. This was recommended to me by a friend um, and someone that has been very successful so I really do uh, honor her opinion, and I think this is going to be a great read. So once again, Miracle Morning. Next on my list that I'm currently reading, and this is part of my 2021 goals. One of the, my big reading goals for the year 2021 is to read the entire Wheel of Time series. So I just started um, for a second read of The Eye of the World. I read this once back in 2020, uh, but I'm taking a little more in-depth look at it and really excited to see how this story turns out. Um, I'm currently 236 pages into this. Uh, for those of you who have not heard of the Eye of the World or the Wheel of Time series, um, it's a beast. There are 14 books in the series, 15 if you include the prequel, and it was written by Robert Jordan. Um, it was finished by Brandon Sanderson, and it has been known as one of the biggest uh, fantasy novels that are out there. It's adult fantasy, and it's really, really been a good book to this point. We're just getting started, but in a 14-book series, you would expect there to be a lot of buildup to this point. Um, Robert Jordan, in his first book, and, and I see it here, but I'm in for the long haul, so I think this will change, at least according to the things that I've heard from other people, um, Robert Jordan really takes a Tolkien type experience at first. So he's very, very detailed. He will describe every detail of every scene to you, which can be a little hard. That's why it's more in the adult fantasy series um, instead of that young adult fantasy series range. It follows the adventures of a couple, uh, three boys um, and a couple adults, a girl um, from a village uh, who have been called upon to possibly make some changes to the world. We're just getting started, and I want to leave this spoiler free, um, but it's if you really like adventure books, if you want to really play out in your mind that ultimate D&D &D game, uh, this, is, this is it. This is really a detailed adventure. It's really exciting, um, and I'm really excited to see it. There's so many characters, so many things happening just in the first 230 pages. Um, this book comes in at uh, 700 and some odd pages uh, for book one. I will have this finished before my February read, so I will definitely give you a detailed update on this, leaving it spoiler free, but give you my thoughts. Uh, thus far though, um, it was a little bit of a slow start, but then things have happening and they're already, I see a lot of future casting already. So I'm really excited for this series uh, and I'm excited to continue to bring you updates on this. 
But this is my 2021 reading goal, um, is to complete the entire Wheel of Time series. So it's a little more than a book a month to get through that, 15 books in 12 months. I think it's over 4 million word count between all the books. So hefty goal, but I think I can do it and uh, hope to keep you updated on this process. Lastly, on my bookshelf this month um, is Stormfront, uh, Stormfront by Jim Butcher. If you have not read The Dresden Files, oh my gosh, I really have to recommend these to you. So The Dresden Files um, follows this character who is kind of a magician stuck in modern times. Um, he's a Sherlock Holmes type character. He's very, very gruff, very rough around the edges, and the world hates him. Not, in, not so much the people. Many people maybe not agree with him either, but just the world hates him because anything that can go wrong is going to happen to Harry Dresden. Um, but it's a great read, and it's a super fast read. In fact, book one I read in two days. Two days, um, burned through this series. Uh, we're looking at 360 pages in two days. I mean, it is really good. Uh, now, I did buddy read this with um, the audio book, too. So uh, I have kids, and there are times when they're watching their TV shows and I want to read. TV is kind of distracting to me, so I'll pop in some earbuds and I'll read along with the audio book. The audio books for these are really good, too. The voice actor does an amazing job. Um, but yeah, so this follows the life of Harry Dresden and the adventures that he gets involved in. Uh, and, and I hear from some of my friends that this book, this series, just gets better book after book after book. So I'm really excited to pick up book number two and read that here in the near future too. But um, Stormfront by Jim Butcher is a great book. Really, 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 really well written. Um, and it just, it, you feel like you're there as you read it. He does a great job of pulling you in. There were times that I was almost in tears from laughing because of the, some of the stuff that happens to this character. And other times I was thinking, oh no, this is, is this series going to end already? I mean, what's going to happen with him? So uh, Butcher does an amazing job in his writing. The book is really entertaining. If you want a quick, easy, fun read and you want to get into a uh, modern type fantasy, so it's, it takes place in the present world. Um, but he has some of those fantasy type abilities tied to him that don't always work out well. Um, I think one of the greatest things that, that happens to him in this book, and I'm excited to see how it plays in the rest of the series, is because he's a magic user, modern electronics do not work well. So anytime he's around things like computers or cell phones or even modern cars, bad things happen. And it's, it's quite comical. Uh, so he's stuck in this modern world with all this technology that he can't utilize. Um, so that's, I think that just really, really does a good spin on what we see today. Um, and some days, you know, I'll be honest, I wish I could be uh, Harry Dresden here and not have to deal with the technology. So once again, Stormfront by Jim Butcher, first series in the Dresden Files, amazing read, super fast read. I encourage you to pick it up and check this out. So my goal for 2021, like I said, is to read the entire um, series here from the Wheel of Time. We're looking at uh, 15 books there. But I also want to read at least six personal development books this year, and then um, probably about a dozen other novels of various types. Um, I'll probably stick with this Dresden series at first, but we might throw some other things in there too. So each month I'll be releasing another video like this, talking about my books, what I've read, what I've seen, what I like, and then uh, be updating you on my reading progress. Uh, feel free to comment below um, and your thoughts on any of these books. If you've experienced them, if you haven't, I encourage you to pick them up. Love to discuss those with you. If you're really into the Wheel of Time series, um, there are some really good discussion groups out there for that too. Encourage you to get in there. Be careful Googling uh, the Wheel of Time series because there are a lot, a lot of spoilers out there. So be careful of that. So this is uh, my January video. I'm excited to be here on YouTube. I look forward to talking to all of you soon and giving you an update. I will have two more videos coming out this month, one reviewing Mice and Mystics board game, and then one will be taking a look at a bourbon this month also. So stay tuned for those. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button uh, so that you can follow and be updated. And also that bell icon will let you know when I release the next video. Till then, everyone, have a great day.